the pioneers who built and flew these jets changed everything. Jet travel got us everywhere in hours and minutes rather than days and weeks. With planes that aim to outstrip the speed of sound, they're the world's fastest men. Amazing to think that the entire history of the world changed right here at Hersel Common in Coventry. The story goes that a small boy was out playing here on the common when an aircraft came in low, an aircraft had only just been invented, and blew his hat right off. That small boy was Frank Whittle. Born here in Coventry, Whittle was said to have been inspired by his close encounter, growing into the genius who developed the jet engine through what became the Meteor. As well as Coventry, countless places played a part in the Whittle story, among them Gloucester, Rugby, Derby, Leamington, Cranwell in Lincolnshire, where his first jet flew in 1941. They're very proud of Frank Whittle here in Lutterworth. So proud, they put this up. Not far from here, they used to build his engines. It's 70 years since the first meteor flight. These jets were around in World War II. They didn't get the fame of the propeller-driven Spitfire and Hurricane, but did their bit. For speed and manoeuvrability, RAF pilots swear by the meteor. These squirt fighters won their spurs in the battle against the flying bomb. One man who appreciates the role the meteor played in developing aviation is Barry James at the Midland Air Museum, where the aircraft are among many fighter jets on show. And over a thousand meteors were built here in Coventry, but the aircraft itself during the Second World War major, played a major part in developing the, the whole aspect of how we would use jet aircraft. I've grown up at a time where travel, flying all around the world, is taken for granted. At one time, people wouldn't have even considered things like this. It's brought communities, families closer together that have travelled around the world. It's created a whole industry that has given thousands and thousands of people around the world their jobs, their future and everything else. So massive change in the whole aspect of our lives. And so much of that change was down to this man from the Midlands, Frank Whittle, 70 years ago. A man way ahead of his time who came up with designs like these. A meteoric rise for the world of flight. Keith Wilkinson, ITV News.